understand that. Honestly, you know, we're running, we're running low on time. But Dave, you know, the Giants seem to do a minimal amount of moves to improve the offense. The big selling point, though, for the front office this year has been we're getting an added boost for the returns of Buster Posey free to see which is true. But the way they're selling it, and I've heard some of the players say it, that it's like getting two new free agents. First of all, no, it isn't. But, you know, I, but, but here's the thing. Both missed most of uh, last year with devastating injuries. Do you think the team is relying too much and believing too much yeah, this team? Way. That these guys will be 100% and ready to go on opening day and will be able to stay on the field for the entire year? Part of me wants to say yes. I think um, maybe they're using it as an excuse because they wanted to save money for some reason. There, there was definitely bats out there in, in the market, uh, such as my, Michael Kribier and uh, Ryan Ludwig and Michael Kadir and Ludwig. And instead, they figured, well, we're going to have two missing holes from last year's lineup that was very productive. We've done 10, very chances, and Buster Posey got that. And so, but, but they're coming off of injuries, bad injuries, you know? And Sanchez, until he got injured, I thought he was the best hitter for the Giants. And then he got hurt, and so now, you know, it's going to be a big issue as well for Sanchez, you know? If he's healthy, he'll be productive, but if he gets any kind of injuries, it's going to be it's going to be an issue. And I know the Giants uh, has got uh, Terrio, I believe, Ryan, Ryan Terrio, and Mike Fontenot. Ryan Terrio. And Mike Fontenot coming back as backups again, but realistically, the Giants are expecting Sanchez to be a full-time, full everyday starter. And then Buster Posey, obviously, you know, Giants fan favorite. And I think it's going to take him maybe a month to get really back, back in his shape, uh, back in his shape. Well, one, um, footnote, so. one footnote about that, you know, do you know that, that uh, it's the, uh, the San Francisco Giants LSU connection? Uh, uh, both, both Mike Fontenot and Ryan Terrio was part of that 2000 right, College that. World Series right. team. I think it was Ryan Terrio scored that game. Well, here's another run. connection. They played huh? together on the Cubs. And they both right. played with the Cubs. <laughs> and Brian Wilson was a it was a LSU. Uh, he was. Uh, so you know you got the the San Francisco Giants LSU uh, connection and uh, University of Miami. I'll tell you what, Brian. I'll tell you what, Brian. You come to opening day. The Royals retired. Let's let's, let's, let's vote on the Sports Junkie website on Facebook. Let's see if we if anybody wants Brian to show up to opening day and get LSU colors. No. Well, LSU, the purple and gold. No. <laughs> You're not going to do it. Okay. Put it to him, <laughs> Ben, ben before, I throw the same, before I throw the question over to you, let me, you know, Davis mentioned Sanchez. Sanchez, as valuable as he's been when he's been healthy, has not been healthy a full season yet for the San Francisco Giants. Wait, wait, wait so do you think, I mean, do you, do you think the Giants are relying too much on the belief that they'll be fine, that we're ready to go? Uh, I don't know if they're relying on it because, like you said, they went out and got Terrio as, as sort of, uh, you know, relief, I think. Between Terrio and uh, they've hung on to, to not Kepinger, but uh, Fonteno. And then they've got Brandon Crawford. That should probably get him by at second and short when Sanchez is hurt. The question is, is Brandon Crawford ready to be a starter at shortstop? That's the question. Defensively, I think right. he is. It's offensively is the question. Let's right. go. Right. Let, let Ben finish his point. But with Terrio and Fonteno, that, that makes them so they don't have to throw Crawford in there all the time. Right. And, uh, you know, I think that we're going to try to get the most that we can get out of Sanchez. He is absolutely one of the best second basemen in baseball when healthy. So uh, I think we're just going to hope for the best there. I was kind of wondering why we knew uh, Giants didn't uh, uh, seriously pursue Kepinger to be a probably the backup second baseman. I, I would have liked to be Kepinger. I mean, I like seemed a bit limited range-wise. He right. shortstop. I'm at the second baseman or third base, but Giants decided, uh, you know, they know what they're doing, so we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. Well, and Fontenot does, he's a little more versatile. He can play a few more positions than Kepinger. But you're right. I mean, I, I, think, and that, I, think that's, I think that's why they kept Fontenot, because he, he's a little more versatile than uh, Kepinger. I wanted Kepinger to come back, too, but Fontenot does give you a few more options when you're trying to decide who. Hopefully he'll have a better uh, batting average. <laughs>